Hi everyone, it's Jen Murphy with Cure Search for Children's Cancer, and it's my privilege to welcome you to the 2021 National Walk Day. We are so thankful for you participating throughout the country. We would love to see your photos and videos, so please share with us how your walk is going. Also, share it with your friends and family with a link to your donation page so that we raise those life-saving funds to continue children's cancer research. It's what our walk is all about. So again, thank you for participating. Continue to watch this page for more information. You're gonna see a lot of great videos today, hear from a lot of wonderful people that will let you know what a difference you're making. Thank you so much and enjoy your walk. Hey everyone, it's Jen again. Toffee and I are here just to remind you of some great fundraising incentives we have for you. If you raise $100, you will get the wonderful Cure Search t-shirt, that awesome 2021 design. Now Toffee here is sporting the 2020 version because she's not yet met that $100 minimum. But when you meet it, we'll be sure to get that shirt to you. We also have a $500 uh, fundraising level where you get a Cure Search tote and a $1,000 you get a solar powered battery charger. So next year on the walk, you could charge your phone too. So just little things to keep you going throughout the day. We hope you're enjoying the Cure Search walk with your dog, with your loved ones. Keep it up. Right, Toffee? Hi, I'm Kay Keeler, CEO of Cure Search for Children's Cancer. I love this time of year when children go back to school because I can jump on social media and catch up with family and friends who are posting photos in their front yard, signs, holding signs that say things like first day of second grade or sophomore year of high school. And even though I'm remote from my family and friends, seeing those moments really warms my heart. Then I think about those families who may have posted last year, but sadly this year cannot. Perhaps their child is too sick, taking the only toxic treatments available to help fight their childhood cancer, or maybe their child was diagnosed in the last year and sadly lost their battle. And I can only imagine what it would be like to be that parent this time of year, being willing to give anything you had to be able to post a simple sign with your child. Children's cancer affects newborns to young adults. And every day, 47 parents are in that situation, sitting in a doctor's office, being told that their child has cancer. And then they also learn that the treatments that will save their child's life are toxic to their growing body. Why are they toxic? Because the truth is, most of these treatments were developed before 1990. Just to put that into perspective, the very parents sitting in that doctor's office may not have been born when the treatments that their child will receive were developed. And the side effects are life altering, blindness, deafness, infertility, or even a secondary cancer, just as their child, now a young adult, may be getting ready to go off to college or walk down the aisle or buy their first home. Sadly, the federal government only spends 4% of its cancer research funding on children's cancer. That's why CureSearch has stepped up over the last 30 years to change the way research funding for children happens. If we can continue to work with academics and pharmaceutical companies to wisely fund the very best research that will drive to the clinic and help children quickly, then we won't have a need anymore for parents to put up GoFundMe pages to help cover the costs of their child's cancer care or for academics to huddle in a room and collaborate to share information on how they might find new cures. Instead, we will get ahead of the problem and have a less toxic solution for every single child diagnosed with cancer. So on this National Walk Day, I want to say thank you. Thank you for joining us and helping to find a cure. Together we'll do better. Together, we will absolutely find a way to not only save children, but ensure that they lead long and healthy lives. And perhaps in 25 years, 
those very children will be with their own children, standing in the yard, holding up a sign that says, first day of kindergarten. That is the world I want to live in. My name is Brandon Fischetto, and I'm one of the team leaders of Team Evan for the Cure Search Walk. And the reason why I walked is because my good friend Evan Sharp passed away from glioblastoma at the age of 11. And Evan was the most amazing, kind-hearted person. And I just know that he would absolutely go out of his way for any of his friends. And I really just want to honor him and uh, remember him. And the best way to do that is, uh, I believe, is through Cure Search. And uh, not only raising awareness for him, but uh, raising awareness for other kids who have been diagnosed with cancer. And that is why I walk. Hi, I'm David, and I take part in the Twin Cities Cure Search Watch because I'm a cancer survivor and it's the way to raise money for kids' cancer research. Hi everyone, my name is Katherine Minson and I'm a medical director and pediatric oncologist at ParXL. As a former academic cancer researcher, I know firsthand the difficulties that can arise when attempting to translate exciting findings from the lab into actual drugs that can positively impact patients. Since I've joined ParXL, I've recognized the importance of early collaboration with industry partners who have the expertise and infrastructure to help drive forward the clinical development of promising drugs. One of the things that I appreciate most about CureSearch is their commitment to bringing all of the stakeholders to the table, academia, industry, and most importantly, patients and families. This is why I'm so excited to be working with CureSearch on behalf of ParXL. At ParXL, we help drug developers navigate the complex clinical research process. We offer our therapeutic, clinical, technical, and regulatory expertise to help bring safe and effective treatments to adult and pediatric patients faster. As a clinical research organization with more than 30 years of experience, ParXL knows firsthand that patients often don't have time to wait. Our core values of caring and putting the patient first are what motivate and drive us to make a difference. And of course, we always strive to do it with heart. Today, we are excited to be the 2021 sponsor of CureSearch's National Walk. ParXL believes in the mission of CureSearch to provide research funding and accelerate drug development for pediatric cancers. And we are proud to join CureSearch in this important effort. So, wherever you are in the world, on behalf of ParXL, we hope that you enjoy your walk and always continue fighting to improve children's health everywhere. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ariel Vargas, and along with my wife Beth, we are the founders of the Landon Vargas Foundation. We started the Landon Vargas Foundation after losing our nine-year-old son Landon to a sarcoma cancer. We recently started working with CureSearch and are very excited about what it is that they do. Landon fought cancer for five years, and I remember thinking as we were going through all that, that a new treatment would come out soon, one that would help save Landon. Of course, that day never came, but that doesn't mean that we can't work with CureSearch to give hope to the next set of parents out there thinking the same thing. CureSearch's mission is to accelerate children's cancer treatments to save our children now. And that's an incredible task, but one that we here at the Landon Vargas Foundation would love to be a part of accomplishing. 
We want everyone to get on board and help cure search so that they can advance drug development and cut the red tape. Let's help them bring desperately needed treatment options to directly to the children that need them. Because there's no good reason why on average a pediatric clinical trial begins six and a half years after an adult trial. That's just too much time wasted and with cancer, time is not on our side. Collectively, we are smarter and stronger than cancer. So let's work together to put an end to the number one child killing disease. Hi, my name is Max and I'm an intern at My Power Pack. And the reason I support Cure Search is when I was 13, I was diagnosed with stage one melanoma. And luckily we caught it early enough that it was treatable. However, a lot of kids aren't as fortunate as I am. And Cure Search is an organization that has been around for 30 years and they've been looking to find ways to help those kids that aren't quite as lucky as me. Hi, I'm Crystal O'Malley, and I'm the founder of My Power Pack, an online digital platform made specifically for informal caregivers, offering an inspiring place to give and receive care. And we are on a mission to create a more caring and connected world where ordinary people can provide extraordinary support for coworkers, friends, family members, and loved ones in need. After a personal experience with a friend's cancer diagnosis, I set out to build a holistic ecosystem, leveraging technology, making it easier to rally community, ask for, and be inspired by helping others. And we are proud partners of CureSearch. Hi, I'm Scott with My Power Pack. As we learned, My Power Pack exists to reduce the friction and ease the burden that come with high stress caregiving situations. One of the ways we do this is through our discover area where we provide resources to folks. With our mission to help people and the great work that Cure Search is doing, we're very happy to be providing support to that organization. Please visit mypowerpack.com for more information. Hi everybody, I'm Joe DiRazio for LV Lumber. As many of you know, making top quality bats and fighting childhood cancer is the top mission of LV Lumber. Our company was actually started in honor of my nephew, Landon Vargas, who loved baseball, was a huge Phillies fan. Unfortunately, he was diagnosed with cancer at the age of four and sadly passed away a week after his ninth birthday. That's why working with Cure Search and other organizations and donating part of our proceeds to fighting childhood cancer is so important to us here at LV Lumber. So thanks for all your continued support not only with Cure Search, but with LV Lumber, helping us knock childhood cancer out of the park. Thank you. Hi, I'm Amy, and this is my dog, Rosie, down here in Tampa, Florida. We're getting our team together for the Cure Search Walk on September 25th. I hope you'll get your team together and join us to raise funds for Cure Search. As a childhood cancer survivor, I really appreciate everything that you're able to do. Thanks. Hey everybody, Team of Monsters Mission here. We walk to remember our son and brother Henry so that no parent should ever have to hear that their child has cancer. And so no one ever has to explain to a little guy like this why their brother or sister isn't around anymore. We love him.
Hello, my name is Stacy. And my name is Rachel. My daughter Rachel is a 21 year childhood cancer survivor. We are happy to announce this year's top fundraising teams and top fundraising individuals as of today. Keep in mind, your fundraising pages will stay open until the end of the year, so there is still time to reach your fundraising goals and to continue to make an impact. Here are the top national walk teams. Number one, Linthicum Care Search Walk with $4,397. Number two, Northern Colorado Childhood Cancer Awareness Walk Team with $2,330. And number three, Team Perexel with $1,680. The top fundraising individuals for the National Walk are Stacy Windmiller with $1,880, Alyssa Spittle with $1,020, and Amy Fair with $1,000. Here are the top teams overall from all the walk events. Number one, the A team with $10,220. Number two, Team Laura with $7,970. And number three, Team Taylor with $6,866. Here are our top individual fundraisers overall from all walk events. Number one, Jamie Johnson with $10,220. Number two, Laura Wagner with $7,320. And number three, Jennifer Davis with $3,581. Congratulations. Thank you for all of your hard work. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for walking with us throughout this month, raising funds for safer and less toxic treatments for children. We appreciate it because every step makes a difference. Let's keep walking together and continue raising funds.